guys, I'm super excited. This is the uh, box I have been waiting for over here. This is our first mod that we're going to be having for the 2022 WRX. And there's not a lot of exhaust systems out for the car right now because it's so new of a car. But this is the ETS muffler delete. So let's unbox these. Let's take a look at them. We're going to install them. We're going to do a sound comparison between these ones as well as like the factory exhaust. We're also going to weigh them to see the difference and how much weight these save as well. So let's pop them open. So looking at the packaging guys, this is packaged pretty nice. Got this really heavy, like molded foam, but this is them guys. So these are the axle back stainless steel exhausts. I got the ones with the resonator in because I don't want straight pipe. I don't want it to be super loud. I'm looking for better performance over stock. But I'm also almost 40 years old. I don't want something super loud and droney when I'm driving. Ooh, look at these tips. These are nice. So I went with the polished tips. They also have black or blue ones. These look really good. I don't know if the camera's quite picking up in there, but they look pretty nice. These are going to be super easy to install. Pull them both out. Looking at all the welds, the welds are very clean. They take their time, they clean everything up. This is ETS or Extreme Turbo Systems. They're in, uh, I believe they're in Northern Oregon, if I'm correct. I'll put their information up on the screen as well as down below. But look at all the welds down here. These look super clean, nice, good bends, beefy uh, hanger brackets. These look, uh, these look pretty good. And the other system I thought about doing is the STI. Super makes their STI mufflers, which are very similar, but they're like $1,300 or 12 something. So they're almost twice the price of these. I get these were $6.99 with the resonators. If you don't want them with the resonators, you want to do straight pipes, they're $5.99. I'll throw a picture of the uh, old WRX I had back in 02, and I really miss the Boxer Rumble. So I'm hoping that these new ETS pipes give me back that Boxer Rumble that I've been missing. So I wanted to get a good look at these guys for you. And looking at all the welds and everything and looking at like the stainless steel it really looks like a factory like an oem stock exhaust the way it comes together the way it's built the craftsmanship and i know ets makes really nice stuff this is my first ets item i've ever purchased and it's just flawless the way that it's all polished it's really, really nice. It's going to look very good on the car. It's not going to look like a cheap made in China part. It's made in the U.S. And I like how the the tips, it's dual, uh, the muffler tips, it's outside and the inner layer. And how it's all molded together. It should sound really clean. Shouldn't sound cheap and tinny. So yeah, super excited. Can't wait to get this thrown on. I'm on my way to Top Gun right now and I'm going to install this first thing in the morning. So I'm outside, I'm in the new shoes and I'm super excited about these. Why I got this color is I got the blue sweatshirt to go with my brand new blue car. And I wanted some shoes that also had blue on them on the sides and underneath. I want to get a good cold startup of the exhaust for you guys. Alright, so you guys can see that I've got the WRX up on some ramps to get access to underneath to the exhaust. It's going to be really easy to get the axle back off. And unfortunately, I can't pull it in the garage because we have the GTR that we're still working on. Because the engine is needing a rebuild, so I can't really move that car very easily. But let's uh, crawl underneath. Alright guys, let's go ahead and come underneath here. i got some cardboard down. Luckily, I'm not in the rain, so it's nice. But we've got a couple of uh, um, hangers. So you got basically exhaust hanger right up here. And then it just unbolts from your factory exhaust right here, which is pretty narrow, so it might be worth actually 
upgrading to the full exhaust system later if I ever start modifying and trying to get more power out of it. But this is going to at least unlock that boxer rumble. All right, let's get the passenger side one off. These are 14 mil um, nuts, and you're going to need to put a wrench on the back side to hold it in place. Comes out super, super easy. You're just going to reuse the factory hardware. So I'm just going to set these off to the side. Alright, now you can see that we're loose. I'm going to be using a little silicone spray on the exhaust hangers to help slip them off. So as far as your exhaust hangers, you've got one at the back of the exhaust and then you got one on the outside basically straight up right there so i'm gonna go ahead and slip those off and let's pull this out all right now that i've got everything lubed up with the silicone i can easily just slip the exhaust right off of the rubber hanger exhaust system is off and I wanted to get a good look and good comparison at them for you guys so you can kind of see the difference but look at the difference in size look how big this huge triangle muffler is from Subaru it's just gigantic versus this little resonator uh, let's go ahead I want to measure the exhaust outlet tips difference between them as well as the inlet tip all right so measuring outlets guys we are at Let's see across there, three inches versus across here, they're 3.5. The internal diameter is about two and three quarters. Same thing here, about two and three quarters. So that's the same. And we got the exhaust tips lined up, but I wanted to show that the ETS system is a little bit longer. You can see this pushes out probably about two inches farther, which means the exhaust tips are going to stick out a little more. So they're going to kind of give you a little bit more bling, a little bit more flare. You can see kind of how they're tapered at an angle like the stock ones were. So it should look pretty cool. Let's uh, measure the other side. Yeah, just looking closer at the OEM one and comparing like the build quality, you can see this is nice, you know, stainless exhaust. This is all just as good quality. Looking at like the exhaust piping up here, the ETS stuff is just as nice, if not nicer, in my opinion. And then coming around to the other side, you can see that there's a brand on this is Sakimoto or Sakamoto. So if you guys are curious, it's like it's got a little overspray of uh, undercoating on it. But yeah, let's measure this here versus that. I think this is 2.5. Internal dimension is just under 2.5 it's like two and three eighths and let's check this here oh yeah it looks like about an inch and a half it's pretty small yeah one it's like just over an inch and a half, maybe like not really three quarters. It's kind of in between an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. Let's get you guys a good comparison so you can see. This is tiny little guy versus it's going to have way less restriction. And he's looking at the exhaust hanger just for comparison. Here's the back one versus the factory one. It's just as good a quality. This one versus this one. So, And as far as weight. I'd say this is maybe one or two pounds lighter. It's not that much lighter. Um, you can't hear that there's there's water inside this. You can hear it sloshing around. So I wanted to measure my weight with each one of these. 
So with the ETS, I weighed 211.6. And let's see about the factory one. Versus 217.2. So that's, what, about four and a half pounds difference? Uh, almost five pounds lighter per side. So about 10 pounds total. I'm curious about is ETS does make a full cat pack system that was like around $1,200. I'm curious if the white pipe that comes in that will mount up to this and then I can just order the white pipe and go 2.5 all the way from the cat back versus having the tiny little one inch pipe going into this just to get a little bit better flow. So I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna have to talk to them, but let's go ahead and let's get this thrown on the car. I figure I'll get you guys a little bit of a look too before we do the install. So we've got nice heat shielding up here. Everything's painted really nice. Plastic cladding, here's your you know, exhaust hangers here. And then you've got a gasket here from the factory exhaust. Alright, when I was slipping these up and in, I was slipping the back exhaust hanger on first, sliding it all the way in, and then that gives you enough room to maneuver this to slip this in. And then from there, you can put your mounting hardware in. Okay, there's an instructions manual in the box that shows kind of what comes in there. You get a couple of graphite gaskets, you get a couple of ETS stickers, which are cool if you wanted to put those on your car. Follow information, and then a bunch of uh, hardware and stuff. So let's see if the factory hardware fits. Otherwise, we'll put this hardware on, and we're going to go ahead and slip these gaskets in. Okay, guys, so looking underneath, the factory hardware does work, and I just was able to slip that gasket right in and snug it down. And everything looks like it fits very well. So you've got this exhaust hanger is nice and centered. Same thing with the back ones, nice and centered. And everything on the muffler to bumper, it fits perfectly symmetrical all the way around. So it's not too close. You don't have anything like touching. Heat looks like it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how the hardware goes in. So I wanted to show you guys this, the factory gasket. It does fit and it won't disturb the metal gasket. However, this is smaller than the exhaust pipe so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it because I don't want it falling off and you know getting stuck in the exhaust somewhere and blowing out of the car all right guys let's get this finished up so metal gasket out go ahead and line these up hardware is gonna slide through and I'll put the bolts through the same way they were they were on the back side and the nut was to the to the center We go ahead and put our factory nuts in here. All right, guys, both sides are on. The installation was very simple. If you need the tools, uh, we'll have links in the description down below if you don't have the basic hand tools required. And that'll get you all squared away. But let's look at fitment all the way across. I really like the way that this fits and looks like factory. Even though it's aftermarket versus like, I know Cobb, they make a full catback system, but it's very big, it's very bulky. This looks, you know, tight and tucked underneath, which I like. And like looking at the piping from the factory, how it comes across, it kind of has that same style finish and same style build quality. Very OEM plus. And uh, while you guys are watching this video, what you're curious about is what does it sound like? So let's throw you up on a tripod. Let's uh, start it up. I want you guys to pause the video. Leave me some comments down below. Do you think this is going to give you the boxer rumble? Yes or no? Let's find out.
see there guys, definitely a much more aggressive pronounced protrusion from the muffler that comes past the uh, the bumper. So especially overhead like you can see it. They stick out a little bit more where the other ones, the stock ones were a little bit more recessed and hidden. But I like the look, it kind of looks aggressive. Let's listen to the sound. So let me know, did you guys uh, think it sounds the way that it should? A little bit of a boxer rumble, you can hear it in there a little bit. Uh, the stock headers are equal length, they're not unequal like the old EJ20s and EJ25s. So to get that boxer rumble, you don't really get it as much or it's not as pronounced as it used to be, but you can still kind of hear it in there. I'm, tr I'm kind of curious to see if it's, uh, how loud it is under acceleration versus the old one and how quiet it is when you're cruising just like the old one. I'm gonna grab my daughter, let's hop in the car, let's take her for a quick drive and see what it sounds like. So yeah, if anybody has the exhaust pipes without the resonators, let me know, because these are just a touch louder at idle than the stock ones in my opinion. Okay guys, first pull with the exhaust on. I'll just be quiet, you guys listen. So it is a little bit louder than stock. You can hear it when you step on throttle, but if you listen when you're just cruising, it's still pretty quiet. get a little bit of the exhaust sound but it's not uh, real droney or anything like that which is nice I'll do a uh, outside clip of gear for you guys and then windows down guys you can hear it that's it for the driving guys let's head home and uh, close out today's video thought we get some crackling pops but nothing that's gonna be it for today's video guys let me know what you think of the ETS exhaust extreme turbo systems I know these guys build really powerful GTRs and all kinds of you know cool fast sports cars evos and stuff like that and it's my first ets part i'm very impressed with it and as far as like doing a few pulls in the car under acceleration i'm not sure if it's me but the car feels like it's a little bit faster uh, it could just be the sound i'm not sure if it's a little bit less restriction in the mufflers itself making the car feel faster but to me it does we'd have to put it on a dyno which i you know don't have the means of doing right now so if you guys enjoy this kind of wx content and skyline gtr stuff you guys consider subscribing to the channel smash the thumbs up it really helps leave me some comments down below let me know what you think of the system i thought this exhaust system would have a little bit more crackle and popping like when you're coming off throttle and stuff which it doesn't have i was hoping it would have some of that but i do like the sound of it i think it's mature it's not overly loud and it's not droney and that's kind of what i wanted so I, uh, if you guys want to see more GTR content, I've got a bunch of videos of GTR stuff. Check out my channel, and then I'll have links in the description down below of the ETS system that I ordered, as well as the parts you guys will need to install it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm going to have quite a bit more stuff I plan on doing to the 2022 WRX. We're going to do some track racing and stuff like that, and I also have a full stock driving review that's going to be coming. It's a shot, and I still have to edit it. That will be coming soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.